them apart when I left them dry and the paint was still sliding down as you can see down in between here the runoff so next time I guess the next set I will have them pressed together until they're done moving um, maybe it was my fault because I, I could have avoided this but yesterday uh, this this bucket had to be moved and I thought they were done you know moving I thought the paint was done moving and the bucket was sitting on a slight angle so I think that's the problem there's some pretty nice effects here um, this spot right here <laughs> uh, looked a little <laughs> odd let's just put it that way it, it, it kind of rolled off onto looking like paint porn. <laughs> so I, uh, I got rid of that. I didn't want to leave that in there. But that is a really neat spot right there. That black and that red. Interesting. There's some texture. You can see here. There's texture. Somewhere here. Whoop. There you go. That's what happened yesterday. I guess what I'm going to do. Um, that's kind of a neat spot, too. I'll show you what I'm going to do to fix my problem here with this. This bucket. If you get a setup for your painting with a bucket, I like that one. 
with a bucket here. See how I've got this draped up? I've got a bucket sitting in here. And all the paint will run down off of there. Put some little tabs on the bottom of these to keep them from slipping off. See, like I've got here, I just kind of slip off the edge. And if I take and I put a little tab here, right here, so they don't pull off the edge, I think that'll take care of that. So there you go. These will be mounted onto another surface. Um, that's pretty right there too. I like the, the feathery look. So I'm gonna try it again and have them dry a different way. Oh, I just love those blues. It's kind of interesting there too. Um, and see how how the next set turns out. This is the first one I've done like this with a paint pour. All my other three-piece paintings um, in the past have been like scenery, flowers, and things like that, trees, mountains. Um, but I am very new to paint pouring. And I've never really done anything like this, these kind of techniques. So it's still a learning and experiment process for me. I like that. I really like that. I like that purple vein. So I, I like it. It's neat. I wanted to try something new. And uh, I'm working with this process to try and figure out where, where I am going to land with it. So that's neat. See, I like the way they, those, those feathery tendrils there kind of reach out towards each other. And I love the way the colors blend. And this, this is something I need right now in my life. Um, I'm using this for paint therapy to help heal from something really bad that happened in my life. And I think it's effective. It's very effective to It's a healing process. So that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm trying to do with it. So. I don't like this spot very well. It's kind of different. I think I'm going to fix this white. So that's it. I thought I'd show you what's going on here when it's dry. And I also like the video uh, production of it, like you see seen on the beginning of this video that it, uh, I can also add a video, video work with this. And I really love making videos. I have another channel that has a lot of clips that are available to use for video creation. If you're interested, that channel is your shock therapy. It's you are instead of Y O U R. You are shock therapy. So I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you're into video production, um, even making intros for your videos, you're welcome to go there and use any of the footage I have available. Um, I found a lot of uh, footage for painters to make intros and I'll be uploading some of those clips very soon. If you see any you like, you're welcome to use them. Put your name on them. Use them for your own videos. So there you have it. That's, a, that's the painting after it's dry. This one board kind of warped a little bit but that's going to straighten out. That'll straighten out, especially after I have them mounted onto the other surface where they're going. All right, you guys have a nice day. And I'll be back later with some more.